Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And today's viewer's question is, how and why is masonry a progressive moral science that must be achieved in degrees? So here we have a common phrase that has been used throughout the decades, perhaps centuries, as a way to try to give a one-liner explanation on what's Freemasonry all about anyway. And the question here is why? How, how do we explain that to somebody if we use that phrasing, a progressive moral science that must be achieved in degrees? And the person we say that to has the gumption to be able to come back and say, what does that even mean? How do we explain it? Well, I, I think what we're trying to do here is express that we don't teach anything if we just throw you to the wolves. We want you to learn and even give you the desire to be learning and seeking for something throughout the rest of your life. So if we sit there and say, you know what? let's just skip to the end of the third degree and here's the last sentence of the book and there that's all you really needed to know you you miss everything in between and in order to learn those things that are in between taking that novel example uh, a little bit further we've got to break it down into some parts we, we, we need to have a first part a second part and a third part to this book or maybe acts, if you like, since really we're performing plays during these ceremonies and rituals. And we break it up like that because of several different reasons, some of which you need to go through the degrees to learn, but because we're building you up. There's a first stage, a second stage, and a third stage. And if we just take you to the third stage, and, and I'm just going to keep throwing out similes here. If we were to take you to a job, and let's say that you're brand new, but there's somebody who's doing the same job as you, but they've been here for 10 years, and we want you to start day one, do exactly what the guy that's been here 10 years is doing, or you're out. You're going to be out the first day. So, so we want to lead you into it. We want to give you some orientation. We want to teach you something small so then you can go, oh, I got it. That makes sense to me. We can say, okay, great. Now here, step two. And then you can go, oh, great. I get that. Wonderful. Step three. So there's a lot of different ways that we can try to compare this to other things. My favorite one is usually that job. Uh, you, you get a new job, you get some orientation, we tell you a little bit about uh, everything from the history of the company to what it is we're trying to do, mission statements and all that kind of stuff, and then you hit the ground and you go through some maybe some classroom training or on-the-job on the training and really start to do the work yourself and start uh, trying to innovate and, and move things along on your own and you start putting your name to your own work. And then later on, you become the master in that position. Everybody looks to you and says, hey, uh, how did you learn how to do this so well? And, and that's kind of how things generally progress in, in employment or in entrepreneurship or just about anything out there. So uh, let's uh, break this down a little bit. Uh, a progressive moral science. Okay, so let's get the fifth idea, uh, the fifth grade idea of what science is out of our head. We're not just talking about uh, biology and so forth. Uh, we are talking about the study of a particular field. Okay, so the, the study of a particular field is science in a very generic definition. Now we're going to be studying morality. Okay, so it's a moral science and it has to be achieved in degrees for the reasons that I have already mentioned because we can't sit there and say hey these this is what uh, philosophers around the world have picked out of Freemasonry in 300 years of Freemasonry's existence here you go literally libraries of volumes of work is just not the way to be exposed to that kind of information you have to be told okay hey here is some foundational information now, when you feel comfortable with that, and you can prove to me that you're comfortable with that, we'll take you to the next step. All the while, 
when you get comfortable with a certain level, you start reaching out and saying, okay, I'm comfortable with these concepts. Let me learn a little bit more about it. Let me learn about the history. Let me read some papers that some uh, Masonic scholars have written about these things and start broadening out your understanding while also building up your structure. So I hope that helps you uh, about why we sort of use this terminology and where it sort of falls short in really explaining what it is that we're trying to do. And even though this took a lot longer to say than just one sentence, maybe it will give you the information you need to understand why we make you take the time to go through different steps in Freemasonry in order to learn these lessons. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have a particular one-liner or elevator speech uh, that you like to give to somebody to explain what is that Freemasonry stuff you're involved in anyway, uh, then go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. I bet some other brothers would really like to see what you say and take away from some of your wisdom so they can use it and help explain it to others where they are. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.